as it should be normally all the time. So this is how you set it up. Session, serial and a com cable where you where you are com currently connected. So if it's a USB, normally it's not COM1, but it's usually COM above 6 or 7, but I already saw 15 and so on and so forth, and usually it's in the USB. Alright? So currently this is our connection. We just press open, and here we go. Normal, right? However, the, the trick is now that basically if we want to install the TFT uh, using the TFTP server, the firmware itself, we need to connect directly using a cable to the device itself. So currently we can get to the device, but the trick is now I'm killing my internet because we don't need internet. However, what we need is an IP address, either to the 40 gate device and to our PC. So, it's a 60C, which interface I'm using? Uh -huh. Yeah, port 1, you said it. Usual, usually, it's, uh, it's the base internal. So, if we're talking about a 200B device, which is a bit bigger, you need to understand that, that the switch port is set to port 9 to port 16. Usually if the first 8 ports are disabled uh, for this session, because the first 8 ports is a PPP, uh, PoE port, power over Ethernet. So currently we have this one, the console cable is still connected, we can do whatever we want. So the next point is that currently I don't have an IP address on this PC. We need an IP address for this PC, so we set up an IP address for this PC and an IP address for this PC. I'm, I will tell you that at least 100 other times. What is the default IP address of a 40 gate device? All of them. 192.168.1.99 So I'm setting myself to 1.100. The default gateway is not needed to be set. It's not needed to be set. Yep, and since the device is currently factory resetted, I just did the factory reset, we should be able to pick it. 192.168.1.99 Oops, it's working. So let's see if we can log in, just to make sure we haven't... 192.168.1.99 1.99 and here we go and do, 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 do. is this familiar with you guys okay so it's a 60c device 40 wi-fi 60c it's fucking fast as you can see and it's currently running 521 which is kind of mess because i downloaded 521 as well so we are going to override the 521 with 521. Currently it's running for 44 minutes. Nothing is reachable because we don't have internet on it. So what do we need to do now? We set up the TFTP server. Here we go. That's the current directory. The first one, this is the current directory. So if I want to have the image file, I need to put it in here. Otherwise, I can change it to something else, but let's let's stick with the default one. So, TFTP64. And let's say I'm moving the image file here. Shut up, and then I, I'm an administrator. I can do everything I want. So, because it's a long file name, either we just copy the file name, or we just either simply rename it. Yes, I'm still an administrator. It doesn't matter what the name is of, of the file, okay? After that, select the interface, which interface we are using. I'm using my LAN interface. Do you see the IP address set up? This is my IP address set up. Yeah. That's the PC itself. Yeah, the PC port. So if we're coming here, we just simply check it. Yeah, here you go. This is my IP address and the 40 gate is there and also if we want to 
be precise for root print we will see this one this is what we need which means it's the default gateway also since we're in the same subnet it's it's a link connection so it's a direct connection so we don't need really routing for this one so currently we have this now if we want to install uh, the firmware what we need to do basically normally if we want to completely wipe the default uh, wipe the device usually our customers will face the following thing that the device is booting which is great for us we want to interrupt the boot we want to set up everything right you see here it went down so do you First of all, sometimes we format the device, sometimes we not. I don't care about it now, I don't really care about it. Make sure it's set to this one. And what we want is this one, the G. Get firmware image from TFTP server, so let's press G. Enter the TFTP server address, which is currently my PC. It's 192.168.1.100. Enter a local address. This is an address for the FortiGate itself. This is a virtual IP we're going to use just for this session. Let's use the default one. Here we go. Yeah, it's it's a home network. I don't care about it. And what is the name of the file? Here we go. So we, sim we simply copy. Whoops. Simply copy and right click. That's all. And it should start to work now. Connect to TFTP server. And see, file is being downloaded. Sure, sure. By the way, you can. You can. Save as default firmware image backup run without saving. Normally you press D. You, uh, this is how it writes the firmware itself to the forty gate and then reboots. Now since we will have the same thing currently basically because we are going to have a fresh system this is how we do it. But we will be able to get to this IP address again and so on and so forth. So, currently, let's try to ping it. Normally, the device will reboot after this. So, that's perfectly normal. Still timing out, waiting, 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 waiting. Uh, Evo, can you please give me that yellow cable? Let's just put it into the 1-1 one, one port, okay? Waiting, waiting, because it's initializing. So, as far as I know, we did everything well. We'll see that in a second. Or because we are talking about the 60C, especially 40 Wi-Fi, it will take at least three minutes. I need to crop this from the video, right? <laughs> to, to do, to do, to do, to do. System is starting. Something is happening in the background. Yep. <coughs> if it will be okay. If not, then not. Still waiting, still waiting. To coffee, guys. Hmm? 
And here we go. We got the login. And we got DMZ. We got the LOM. And here we go. So, ping is working. Also, we get the 40 Explorer. Now, here's here's the thing with the 40 Explorer. When you reboot the device, it will lose the connection. So, yeah, it's completely normal for USB interfaces. So, let's check this. Oops. Did we mess up something? Uh, 192.168.199 should be okay. But basically that that was that was the default thing. Something is not right. Oh, it's LAN. Okay. <laughs> 